So we're going to talk about December 2023. Yes, I know it is January of 2024 and it is the new year. Happy new year. But we won't really feel like the new year until after the 21st of January when the Mercury retrograde shadow period has ended. And since we are still in this retrograde energy, it's giving time for reflection and also in true retrograde fashion, better late than never. And also in true retrograde fashion, I wasn't able to actually record this during December, but I want to record this before I wipe this whiteboard because nothing will be done in vain, number one. And number two, I just felt called that we all need to really reflect on some of these dates of December. Now that it's passed, you can look in your camera roll, you can look in your journal, and maybe this can help you have some clarity on some of the things that have taken place. Because sometimes when you're going through the mix, it don't really make sense. So I'm hoping that this is going to help you with closing out the year and starting off the new year. But to be really honest, the real new year isn't until March 21st, which is when the astrological year begins. But that's another topic for another conversation. Okay, another, yeah, another topic for another conversation. Yeah. So first off, we had the new moon in Sagittarius on the 12th of December. That was giving very much lucky energy because Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which is all about expansion and luck and new moon in the Sagittarius vibes in, oh, the music just stopped but that new energy was very much giving new blessings new doors opening and also new opportunities to possibly travel so some of you guys may have traveled during that time or may have planned to travel the full moon in cancer happened on the 26th of december and it got real emotional because mm-hmm. we were in the retrograde mm-hmm and then the moon is ruled by cancer mm-hmm. so it being in cancer was giving rain down on me a lot of us were crying a lot of us lost our edges a lot of us were going through things with a mama or it's healing our divine feminine energy or also a lot of us were just going through a lot of endings a lot of completions of cycles oh it was definitely an emotional time Mm -hmm. and i um, you know what I was gonna say I hope you survived but you did you're here so be proud of yourself for getting through it okay because you are definitely a G and if you want to know more about all of these specific things check out my patreon okay Venus in Scorpio happened 4th of December so a lot of us had a lot of changes in not only our taste of aesthetics of our vibes of music of the things that we were wanting to eat but also our love life and also our partnerships and friendships. Some of us were seeing the people that weren't really for us. It's giving death and rebirth with that Scorpio energy, okay? And Venus was saying it's time to let go of the old to make way for the new, which is a lot of the reoccurring themes that were going on during the month of December, to be quite frank with you. Also with Venus in Scorpio, it was giving that like, You were either starting to get obsessed with your partner or your partner was starting to get obsessed with you. Or some of you guys were starting to find obsessions with your self-love and with your hobbies. And if you weren't doing that, then maybe that is something that you should have been doing. And it's never too late. Get into it now. Venus has shifted into Sagittarius. I'm about to write up January, so I'll be doing that for y'all. So just stay tuned for that. Just go watch that video. Okay. Um... I'm trying to get our music back because, you know, we want the good vibes. Where it at? Oh, Jafiris. In true retrograde fashion, child. In true retrograde fashion. I don't even know. There we go. There we go. Okay. Mercury trined Jupiter 7th of December. That was a lucky day. It was giving. A lot of us had real good conversations during that time. Conversations that led to expansion. Whether you guys got deeper in your relationships, deeper in your pockets, deeper in your businesses. That was a lucky day. Reflect back and look in your camera roll and see if you were even smiling on that day. Because it may have just been that you were having good conversations with yourself and you were feeling good. Okay. Venus opposed Jupiter the 9th of December. Some of y'all got into some arguments. But some of y'all, like, it was it was giving, like, one or the other. It was either hot or cold, depending on where you are in your healing journey or in your life journey. Some of you guys were having expansion. So some of you guys actually maybe moved in with each other or talked about moving in. 
um, whether it's friends, family, lovers, um, and some of you guys were moving out, or you guys were arguing, or it was giving, mm -mm, the expansion's not working here, we gotta, you know, do the opposite, okay, dissolve, yeah, um, Mercury retrograde started then the 13th of December, and that's when all of it broke loose, yeah, but I'm an astrologer, and I understand that there's good and bad, there's yin and yang, and I personally sometimes really love the retrograde season, because, it really is about all the RE words. Reassess, realign, reorganize relationships, reading, resting, recharging, re-energizing. And we love all of that energy. And all of that energy is necessary because Mercury is a very fast moving planet. Okay. One year on Earth is four years in Mercury. So that's why I feel like we have so many retrogrades because at the each at the end of each year and at the start of the year, I feel like we get a retrograde. You get what I'm trying to say? So that's what I think the retrograde is for. And when you think about it right now, it's the end of the year, start of the year. What are we doing? We are reassessing. We're realigning. We're looking at things differently. Hence why we're also reflecting because we're still in the retrograde shadow period. That's why I'm doing this video for you right now. So if you're vibing with this, make sure you follow me. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're liking. Make sure you're commenting. Make sure you, you know, connect with the link in my bio. I do all things astrology, birth chart readings. I'm a life coach, medium everything okay spiritual cleanses whatever you need check it out link in my bio you should be able to find it or you can message me on any of my platforms so when mercury retrograde started it was in capricorn and then it shifted into sagittarius and it was giving have important conversations release your ex but we already knew that stop saying yes to the past and also stop saying yes to things that you don't actually want to say yes to and i actually did a whole write-up about mercury retrograde so i'm gonna do a whole video about that so y'all go check that out okay because i want to get into the rest of this before this video ends sun sextile north node 14th of december sun try north node 14th of december let's just say the 14th of december was giving a lot of energy a lot of us were reflecting on our past a lot of us were trying to figure out how we want to get to our future this is when a lot of questions started coming up for a lot of us. Reflect back on that day. That day is going to be very significant for you, especially as this retrograde season comes to an end. And also, especially as Jupiter shifts into Gemini this year in 2024 and Uranus shifts into Gemini as well. So if y'all want to know some of the big shifts that are coming up, make sure you subscribe to my Patreon and make sure you are also following me on all platforms so you guys can see the tea. Okay. Sun square Neptune 16th of December. And I know some of these words may not make sense to you if you don't know astrology but i'm breaking it down in the basic terms on my patreon and also i'm hopefully saying it in a way where you can just understand like you know a square is sometimes there's too many people at the party it's not really giving okay a trine it's like you know the holy trinity it's giving it's vibes it's good okay usually okay opposed we may be the ops but we may go together we don't know yet okay so those are some of the words that i've used so rewind if you need to watch it back and see if that helps you i'm gonna hopefully put some of the key words here to help you guys out um but 16th of december i feel like some of us had some dreams coming true but also some of us realized some of the dreams that we thought we wanted aren't really what we wanted some illusions were coming to light you know with the sun illuminating on that um but do with that information what you will 10 43 is the time of that shift which is given 143 which is given love energy some of you guys maybe found out about people cheating or something i don't know sorry um mercury trying jupiter again on the 18th of december it was good energy it was good vibes it was good conversations reflect back to the past time when mercury was trying jupiter the fact that we had it twice in a month we loved that because we needed that <gasps> release with all of the mercury retrograde and all of the confusions and the conversations and whatever we had a little moment to have some clarity and finally get on the sun get on the same page with some of the people that we were talking to mercury sextile saturn 21st of december yeah karma was handed out on that day also it was the um december solstice on december 21st so it was giving illumination karma new energy new vibes shedding if you had your you know your menstrual ladies or men you had your something something going on during that day you real magical you real powerful and i hope you utilize that energy um 
we about to end this here but let's just say we ended off the month with mercury shifting into sagittarius on the 23rd of december that was when it started to ease up a little bit mars trined north node on the 24th so it was giving maybe some arguments venus trying neptune on the 25th 